what is up my fellow subscribers this is adrian for major mateo drones as you can see just got home from work i cannot wait to do this range test this is actually a challenge between myself and everyday drone guy also on youtube he's one of my subscribers i follow him as well i'm gonna go ahead and put his um, information in the link below under the description i'm sorry and pretty much what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and use the same thing again my parabolic antenna boosters right here except mines are the gold plated ones copper plated whatever you want to call it he actually used the silver plated ones now supposedly the silver plated ones supposed to be better than these right here and if i'm not mistaken he did a range test which he went about five and a half miles i believe yeah five and a half miles i believe that's how far he went one way and then came back except he actually came back at zero percent battery almost i don't think i want to go ahead and take that chance again i'm going to link his um the, the, his video on this page to in the description below um guys please i would like for you guys to please subscribe to my channel please give me a thumbs up share my video like my video please i really appreciate it i thank you so much without further ado let me just go ahead and take off Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. We have a little bit of breeze. Oh God. Here comes the breeze again. Now a little while ago, there was no breeze. None whatsoever. Let me just go up at about 100 feet. That's it. And full stick forward. All right, I'm pretty much a 95% battery life. Full signal, let me go up a little bit more. Go at about 200 feet, there you go. 210, that's fine, 209, 210, that's fine. 18 satellites, 94% battery life. Saying that I have about 17 minutes left of battery life. All right, traveling at about 30 miles an hour, 31 miles an hour. So far, we already reached about 2,500 feet from takeoff point. We are about 210 feet up in the air. And again, it's just a challenge that between everyday drone guy and myself, Adrian Mateo Drones, to see about which Parabella antenna boosters actually work better to this one, the gold plated ones, or the silver ones. It's just pretty much a challenge. I will actually, will challenge anybody that have the DJI Mavic Zoom like I do. This is the, actually the one I'm using. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. I'm using the DJI Mavic 2 Zoom, which is my Papa drone. If you have a Zoom 2 or the DJI Mavic 2 Pro, I would encourage you to please go ahead and also do a challenge to see how far you will actually get with the antenna boosters, either the one, the gold plated ones or the silver plated ones. Just to kind of test it out, this is gonna be my third review. My first one, as you can see on my channel, it was actually kind of like a fail because again, my iPad actually got hot. On my second try, it was actually really windy. So I didn't really get that far. However, this time, hopefully, I will get at least three to four miles, hopefully. Now, he did it in an urban area, you know what I mean? Pretty much in the city. I'm doing it in the, in the country, which is a lot different. So, I wonder if the trees or, you know, anything like that will actually kind of mess me up a little bit, which so far, I have perfect signal under control. However, my HD signal dropped a bar. So, let me bring it up a little bit more hopefully that signal will come back up and as you can see we have already traveled more than a mile probably about a mile and a half now I went up to about 335 feet up in the air 7200 feet so far from takeoff point signal came back up perfect 
17 satellites and I'm do pretty much doing a screen recording only all right guys I'm actually got a couple of things I want to let you know when I hit pretty much at about 50 40 percent battery life is when I'm actually thinking about coming back up this way I want to go ahead and teach you guys a couple of things if you do not know so it's kind of a surprise maybe you already know about it maybe you don't but these are stuff that I've actually learned with um, other youtubers that I actually watch myself they follow me and I follow them so I'll let you know later let's go ahead and enjoy the flight I would like to get have a bit about at least a hundred likes on this thumbs up likes thumbs up on this video please I'll appreciate it I love every single one of my subscribers love you guys very much I thank you so much for everything you do for me all the support all the love I appreciate it I try my hardest to do the same for you guys also thank you signal dropped a little bit let me go ahead and go up maximum flight maximum altitude flight reached altitude. So far, I've already traveled at about 10,708, I'm sorry, 10,800 feet from takeoff point, 73% battery life, 17 satellites, and about 13 minutes and 39 seconds remaining. All right, so far, I've traveled 11,507. 11,700, God, I'm sorry about that. 11,900 feet from takeoff point. And I think the signal got a little choppy there. Got a little choppy. Let me go ahead and check out my map real quick. All right. So far, so good. Travel now at about 13,200 feet from takeoff point. 67% battery life. Actually doing a lot better. I'm actually about over two miles now. All right, here we go. I'm actually enjoying this flight tonight. It's about 8.30 now p.m. here in Bronson, Florida. Battery level is low. The aircraft will go to the home point in 10 I'm seconds. I'm not ready to go in online yet or return home. I'm going to keep it moving. Signal's still pretty good. Huh, and I got a little strong wind advisory thing popping up. Earlier, the wind was actually up to nothing. Now, all of a sudden, I got wind again. Ooh, I don't know what's going on. I think I'm about three miles now, 15,400 feet from takeoff point, 61% battery life. Still got pretty good signal. Pretty, pretty good signal. 17 satellites still going. About to hit 16,000 feet from takeoff point. Again, this is actually a, a challenge that I'm doing between myself and everyday drone guy to see who gets the farthest when it comes to using the antenna boosters. He used the one, the silver plated ones, and I'm using the gold plated ones. 58% battery life. Reaching almost 17,000 feet from takeoff point. Okie dokie. And still going. I wonder if I'm going to hit 20,000 feet before I get to 50%. I wonder if I'm going to. I really did not know if I'm going against the wind or with the wind. Hopefully we're going against the wind so the wind will actually help us back. So 55% battery life, now 54, still pretty good signal. We have the max altitude which is about 395 feet up in the air almost reaching 19,000 feet 53% battery life 
and my phone is ringing sorry about that can't really get to it if I'm actually got the remote in my hand using my iPad 19,800 feet from takeoff point and the signal is getting a little choppy signal looks really choppy you see my gimbal still pretty good yeah except the signal getting kind of choppy, but the signal still looks pretty good on my remote. Let me go ahead and keep going. 48% battery life. I think I'm gonna go ahead and return back when I reach either 40 or 45%. almost reaching 21,000 feet from takeoff point. I actually did better today than the last one. Pretty happy. Okay, and I'm thinking I'm gonna hit return right now. So that would be 21,561 feet. Now let me hit return home. Go home. I got this is what I want you guys to know pretty much right now just returning home by itself and I'm gonna hold on one second I'll tell you right now right now returning by itself is flying at about 26 miles per hour if you actually push your throttle forward you will actually come back a little faster so instead of 26 I'm actually coming back at 31 miles per hour Another thing that I want to let you guys know is that you hear the beeping on the DJI Mavic 2 Zoom. If you actually hit the power button once, it should stop the beeping. There you go. So see, you don't hear it anymore. I hope this actually helps you guys because I know the beeping can be very annoying. That beeping in your ear, you know, in your recording, all that good stuff. So now you know, first of all, if... You fly and you hit the return back home. You want to go ahead and gain a little bit of speed. Go ahead and push your throttle, stick forward. Also, with all that beeping, if you go ahead and push the power button just once, don't hold it down, only hit it once, it will actually kill the return to home beeping noise. I hope this actually helps you guys. And as you can see, my signal is actually getting a little choppy. All right, much better now. 38% battery left, and I'm still about a little over three miles away. Still have about 17,200 feet left. Coming back at 31 miles an hour. Let me get rid of the little pop-up. All right, let me look at my map real quick. Okie dokie. All right, guys. Please, again, if you would please subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Share my video. Like my video. Give me a thumbs up, please. And please do not forget to hit the bell notification for future videos. I really appreciate every single thing that you guys do for me. I thank you for the support. I love you guys. Love you, love you, love you. And every single one of my subscribers have my 100% support. Anytime you do a video and I get the notification, I will go check it out. I will give you a thumbs up. I will like your video. And I will also comment on it. And I know that a lot of you guys know that I do that. Just about every single day. And if I do not reply to your message right away, I'm sorry, your comment that you leave on one of my videos right away i do apologize it's not my intention life to get a little hectic sometimes you know a hard working man like me two kids work life it gets a little hectic sometimes so i do apologize if i do not get back to you immediately sorry about that have about 32 percent battery life 
still a little over 12,800 feet from takeoff point. I think that's about two miles and a half, something of that nature, or maybe two miles and a quarter. Coming back at about 31 miles per hour. I'm gonna ask my handy dandy uh, I was going to say advisor, my handy dandy assistant, uh, searing a little bit, how many miles did the distance that I actually reach it is, because I really do not know, but I will figure that out in a little bit. 28% battery life, still have about 10,300 feet from takeoff point. That's about seven minutes left. And I think I see the dirt road from here straight ahead. Getting a little nervous, just a bit. I'm trying not to, but I am. I think we're gonna be okay. Today was actually a pretty good night for this test. And again, the review on the antenna boosters is actually pretty good as you guys can see it works pretty well I could have actually went further if I had more battery life I have noticed that a lot of subscribers actually do some kind of double battery rigging thing going on with their DJI Mavic 2 Zoom or the Pro like they have two batteries set up at the same time I don't know how that works because you actually put in a lot of more weight on your drone so I really do not know I don't think I will be doing that and as you can see it is kind of dark and I do have one of my filters on my camera so that's probably why you see the little bit of choppiness I don't know why I left that filter on this drone on my gimbal camera because if I would actually remove it, my picture will actually look a lot better. However, it is a range test. It is night. So, still have about 21% battery life and a little over a mile left to go. And I think we are going to be perfectly fine. About five minutes left. Come on, baby, come on home. I need you here. All right, I see the dirt road coming back. Oh man. Whew. I've been trying to come out and fly for a while. Really for a while. But the rain have not been very nice. It's been raining just about every day. I do wanna show you guys one more thing. If you actually press down on your iPad, tablet, or phone, you can actually move your gimbal camera to the side, give it a helicopter look. Look how cool that looks. There go my motor, my propeller. Look how cool that looks. Look at that. That looks pretty cool, don't it? Just give it that little helicopter view. Remember, still coming back, except now you're just controlling the gimbal with your finger, pretty much, which is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. I still have about... Still have about 900 feet from takeoff point. 15% battery life. I think I hear my drone coming back. Successful flight. Oh, I see it right above me. All right, I'm gonna let go the stick. Critically low battery. And I'm gonna get rid of this little pop-up here. And I'm gonna let it land. Oh my God, I absolutely love my drone. This drone is so such an amazing drone. 
and it's dark, so I don't think it's going to recognize the landing pad. So I will be canceling the return to home in a minute because it's going into my trees. And it's 40 feet away from the landing pad. So cancel and I'm gonna land it myself. Tell you what, landing manually is amazing. Critically really low is. battery. I love it. I'm big on my light. This light is amazing. Let me hit that cancel. I want you guys to see what my drone look like with the ambient light at the bottom of it. This looks so cool. Okay. This looks so cool. Look at that. Let me go ahead and come back. Critically low battery. Well, that's pretty much it guys i came back have five percent battery life again thank you so much please subscribe give me a thumbs up share my video like my video make sure that you hit the bell notification for future videos and again this was actually a range test a challenge between everyday drone guy and myself he actually went a little farther than me but that's okay all right and in the description below I will actually let you know how many miles I actually reached. So, but that being said, thank you so much. That's it for now. Love you guys. Really appreciate it. Have a good night.